In 1896, William G. Morgan created a game that combined basketball, tennis, and baseball. He wanted a sport that required less physical contact but still kept players and fans entertained. Thus he created Mintonette. It was a sport similar to tennis with a volleyball feel, and years later the name would be changed to fit the action on the court. Fast forward 115 years, and the FSU volleyball team still makes the game look as fresh as it did when it first started. FSU first fielded a volleyball team in 1968 and was named the first women's intercollegiate sport soon after. In 1971, Dr. Billy Jones took on the coaching duties at Florida State after the team's first appearance at the AIAW National Tournament. I think she really tried to instill, uh, again, a lot of pride in the program and make sure that uh, you know everyone did what they needed to do and that I think we were organized and uh, well-educated and represented our university well. Dr. Cecile Reynaud coached the Knowles from 1976 to 2001. Under her leadership, the Seminoles joined the NCAA, and in 1982, they began competing in the Metro Conference. They joined the ACC in 92 and won the ACC championship in 98. Dr. Reynaud's hard work paid off, but if you ask her, the girls are what really kept the team motivated. Certainly the camaraderie that they have and respect for each other as players and also as people I think is important and that usually helps pull a team through if they have a loss or they have uh, something come up. Looking at each other as great teammates and friends uh, really pulls them through some of those times. Dr. Renaud's most well-known recruit was a woman by the name of Gabrielle Reese who put FSU in the national spotlight. While at FSU, Reese helped lead the team to the Metro Conference Championship in 1989 and 1990. She was named Most Inspiring Collegiate Athlete and was among Rolling Stone's Wonder Women of Sport. After her FSU career, Reese went on to captain Team Nike on the Pro Beach Circuit. With her own fitness columns, appearances on MTV, and authoring of her own book, Gabrielle Reese is proof that hard work really does pay off. And through the years, the Lady Knowles have had their share of highly regarded recruits. In 2008, Chris Poole took over the reins and the Garnet and Gold have returned to national prominence once again, including a memorable run in 2009. I'd say the biggest accomplishment is really what our team uh, did this past season uh, to be able to get to the final eight of the NCAA championship is, uh, is as high as they've ever gotten. So I've, I've been really impressed with Chris Poole and his staff and think they're on the right track. So I, I'd say they're at the top uh, of where the program's ever been. FSU's successful past paves the way for a promising future. With hard work and dedication, there's more to look forward to than just trophies and championship titles for the Lady Knowles Volleyball Team. I'm Katherine Lyons for Seminole Sports Magazine.